What are some ways to involve the grandparents in homeschooling? Stick around as I chat about how and what we're doing. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Chan 7. I'm Yuri, dentist and mom to five kids from three years old to 12 years old. Before I begin, I wanna share that this is a collaboration hosted by Stephanie from Shanti Sweeties about grandparents and homeschooling. Stephanie is a lovely homeschooling mother to three girls and you will just love her. Make sure to check out her channel and also don't forget to check out the playlist so you can gain insight about how you can incorporate the grandparents in your homeschooling. I'm so excited to hear how everyone else incorporates their grandparents in their homeschool days. For us, the grandparents have never been local since we are in the military. And even if we weren't in the military, I wouldn't choose to live or raise my family in Mississippi where I grew up. And not that I have anything against Mississippi, but I really don't like the weather, the sticky humidity of it, and I wanted to raise our family somewhere where there's more diversity. My husband grew up in the DC area and we don't like the busy, traffic heavy pace of life there. So unless our parents decide to follow us someday, we're going to have to stick with video chatting if our parents are going to be involved with homeschooling. Another issue is that with older Asian generations, or maybe just our parents' generation in general, is that they don't believe in learning happening at home. They believe that the institutionalized schools are where learning happens. My father is a retired university professor and he very much believes that learning happens by the professionals. But I have come to see that they have grown up with a lie which had led to our own generation having grown up with the same lie. And for some time, my parents didn't even realize that our kids were not attending an actual school. And it had been easy to get away with it since we are in the military, usually not living near, and especially when we were living overseas. But thankfully, my parents have come around and changed their attitudes about homeschooling, especially after COVID hit and from seeing the fruit in homeschooling. Homeschool kids are so much more well-balanced and respectful, and that has been quite evident. So how can the grandparents help in homeschooling? Grandparents can help bring back skills that are being lost, like sewing and auto repair. However, I'm not even sure if our parents' generation were even taught how to do those skills from their grandparents because of the direction society and culture was taking on even then. In a way, many skills are lost arts. Some of those skills include baking and cooking from scratch, like I said, sewing and also knitting and crocheting, gardening and also auto repair, and even how to file taxes, and also how to raise and take care of kids. Funny thing is, both my parents and my husband's parents didn't even raise us. My parents were too busy trying to achieve the American dream, which is why they had initially immigrated from Korea to this wonderful free country of America in the first place. They were hoping to give us better lives. I remember nannies taking care of us and we hardly ever went home after school. And when I did see my parents, usually just my mom, it would be after 9 p.m. And th that would even be on the weekends. My husband was raised by his grandmother. So sad to say, neither my husband or I would even trust our own parents to take care of or raise our children. But fortunately, with the rise of technology, we have so much flexibility in our hands. Video chatting is a great way to incorporate the grandparents in homeschooling. And depending on what the grandparents can contribute and their skills, they can help with things like read alouds, piano lessons, 
voice lessons, art, cooking and baking together, sewing, knitting, and crocheting. Although I feel like that could be a little hard because it might be hard to see virtually, but it can still be done, especially if the grandparent is really into those skills and really enjoys that area of their expertise. They're gonna love being able to share what they know, even virtually. Another great way to incorporate the grandparents, especially if they are non-English speakers, is to get them involved with helping the kids to learn some family languages. It had never occurred to my parents that they can help with schooling until I had asked my father to help read some Korean children's books to the kids. He's been doing this virtually and it's been a great way to involve my parents in this way since it gives my parents a more intentional and purposeful time while they're video chatting with the kids. It definitely has helped build deeper relationships, helps me to be a little more hands off, and also gives us a chance to outsource a skill that I'm fine with doing, but I'm not always comfortable with and don't always have the time or energy for. Eventually, I want to ask my dad if he would be able to share some Korean history with the kids virtually. I know there are lots of great ways to involve the grandparents, especially if they are local. So I'm so excited to learn and hear about how everyone involves the grandparents in their school days. Make sure to check out the playlist and give Stephanie from Shulti Sweetie some love. Thank y'all so much for your time. And if you haven't done so already, we'd be more than grateful for your supporting our channel by liking and subscribing. Now help our family out so much. Have a great day and hope y'all leave with some inspiration as to how to incorporate the grandparents in your school days. It definitely has helped with building deeper relationships, given me...